Hi everyone, welcome to class. My name is Jess and today I'm going to guide you through this practice called Yoga for Runners. This class has a deep focus on stretching out those main muscle groups that we use when we run. So I'm talking the glutes, the quads, the hamstrings, the calves and quite literally everything in between. So this is going to help speed up your recovery time and reduce the likelihood of injuries. It's an all-round wonderful practice and we are going to begin this one standing in a forward fold at the top of your mat. I'll see you there. Okay, so when you arrive at the top of your mat, just bring the feet slightly wider than hips distance and fold down over your legs. We'll begin just by holding opposite elbows and adding a soft sway from side to side, distributing our weight all the way from right to left. We'll move through quite a few different fascial stretches here. So bring your hands into a little basket interlaced behind your head. We'll start with more of a monoarticulate stretch by only working half of the superficial back line. So keeping your upper back nice and straight and strong plus the lower back. And we're going to bounce down just for 10. So about 80% of your maximum range of motion, bouncing down and back up. One second bounces. Let's go for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, elbows wide, five, four, three, two, one, pause on a flat back, draw the rib cage in, draw the shoulders down the spine, the elbows out, let's do one more, pulse down for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, flat back, shift some weight forward into your toes, and then this time coming into our polyarticulate elbow squeeze in, bring your chin towards your chest. And now we work the entire superficial back line as we work into the lower back. Draw the tailbone under slightly and we'll pulse down again for 10, drawing our elbows between the legs. You can bring the knees wider if you'd like and the feet wider. Let's go 10, nine, nice. After your one, bring the elbows out nice and wide. And we'll do that one more time, elbows in, pulsing down, 10. And lift the elbows up. Amazing, release your hands down, bend the knees if you need to, bring your feet back to hip distance. Keep your left foot flat on the floor and lift your right arm up to the sky. Bend into your left knee and almost imagine the left knee could touch your left hand, which is just in front of the food. Send your right hip back and we'll get a really nice deep IT band stretch and TFL. Take an inhale and stay for your exhale. Bring your right hand behind your back towards the left hip crease. Maybe you can tuck the fingers in between the thigh and the side of your body. Roll your right shoulder up, back and away, gaze up. And again, keep the integrity of that right hip drawing back. Take an inhale. And exhale. Release your right hand, bend into your knees, fold forward. Step your right foot towards the back of your mat. Bring your hands to frame your left foot. Stay on the ball of your back foot and we'll take 10 pulses here in our low lunge, followed by a pyramid pose. So again, 80% of your maximum range of motion. We're working into this really nice elasticity stretching. Let's go for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Straighten your left leg to your edge, maybe even coming onto the heel if you have the room for it. Flex the toes back. One more round, bend into the knee, pulse down for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Straighten your left back. Option two, come up onto the heel. Perfect. Bend into your knee. 
Plant your hands down, framing the left foot. Ground the hands and step back into downward facing dog. Give yourself a little pedal out of your feet, stretching out through the calves and extending out along the sides of your body by adding a sway of the hips from side to side. Lovely. Pick up your right foot, bring the big toe and the second toe around your Achilles tendon at the left foot and push down the heel towards the floor. Press out through your hands, draw the shoulders towards your ears, tailbone towards the sky, really press down with the right foot. Amazing. Lift your right leg up to the sky, keep a bend in the knee, take three big circles with your right knee. Finding your full range of mobility through the hip while grounding or sending energy down through your left heel. Bring your right foot to the outside of your right hand, shift forward. And bring your right foot to a 45 degree angle so the heel is in and the toes are pivoting out. Lower down your left knee. Reach your right arm up to the sky as we twist, working into the psoas, send the hips forward. Now flex your left foot and guide the left heel in. Reach back towards the ankle, it doesn't matter if you have the foot or not, but if you do, grab hold of the pinky side edge of your foot, the ankle side. Nice. If you have a hand on the foot, flex the foot and pull the heel away from you so we get right into the quads. Breathe in and breathe out. Take another inhale and exhale. Release your hand from your foot, straighten your right leg and send the right hip back, reach your right hand forward. So we're in a half splits with our left knee above the hip. Sorry, the left knee below the hip. Flex your right foot and draw the pinky side edge of the foot down towards the floor so we work along the side of our leg as well. Bring your right hand to face the left and then scoop the pinky finger up to the sky. Stay here for two rounds of breath, just really tuning into this pose, softening across the face, drawing the pinky side edge of the foot towards the floor. Nice. Bend into your front knee, land the foot at a 45, reach up and back for your left ankle in our lizard lunge twist. And then half splits, reach your hand forward, just oscillating through these movements. Scoop the palm towards the left and then up with the pinky. One more, bend into the knee, lizard lunge, reach back. Straighten the leg, reach your hand forward, bring the palm to face the left and up. Amazing, bring your hand down to the floor, bend into your front knee, lift up the back foot and bring it onto the pinky side edge of the back foot. So lower down the pinky side edge. Heel toe your right foot a third of the way down your mat and reach your right arm up and to the back of the room, lowering your hip down. Left sole of foot is extending out long with the foot flexed around the pinky side edge. The right foot is flat on the ground. Inhale, lift up for side cobra. Reach your right arm overhead as far as you can with the arm covering your ear and then gently lower all the way back down. Okay, two more, lift up, extend, and then lower down. Last one, lift up, extend, and if you have the space, try and straighten the right leg as well. And then bend into it, lower your hip to the floor. We'll turn to face the back of your mat, land your right knee just above your left knee, and then bring your left heel to your right hip. So we have both knees stacking, one on top of the other. If this is a little bit too much, you can bring your foot onto the floor, either to the inside of the knee or to the outside, or you can sit up onto a block or some sort of cushion to release tension in the hips. Once you're here, lift up nice and tall, and then walk your hands forward to go a little bit further if that feels okay. 
Send energy down into your right hip, release and relax. Perfect, walk your way back up. Keep your left foot where it is, draw your right knee into your chest and then grab hold of the foot or hold on to opposite elbows behind your thigh, okay? So if you have this space, hold the foot to extend the leg or hold your opposite elbows behind the thigh. When you're ready, extend your leg to your edge, lift your chest up towards the toes, send weight down into your left knee for our heron pose. To go a bit further, you could pull the elbows forward. Stay here for a breath. Breathe out. Again, inhale. Exhale. Step your right foot just over your left knee. Turn to face the right. Lift your left arm up to the sky and then hook your left elbow over the right knee to twist. Ardha Matsyandrasana. Half Lord of the Fish Pose. Softly remove or release yourself from the twist. Bring your hands all the way around past your right leg to face the top of your mat. Pivot on the right foot and just step back easily into downward facing dog. Take an inhale and stay for your exhale. Come up onto your tiptoes. Take a bend into your knees, send your hips down towards your heels, look forward, create a little spring in the body. Either step forward, tiptoe forward, or take a little hop to the top of your mat. When you arrive, fold forward over your legs with the feet hip distance apart. Bend into your right knee, bring your right hand to the floor, just in front of the right foot, or onto a block, any props that you have there. Lift your left arm up to the sky and send your left hip back. Gaze up towards the fingertips. Breathe in. And breathe out. Bring your left fingers just behind your back to the right hip crease. Tuck the fingers in between the thigh and the side body if you have the room. Roll the left shoulder away from you. Take a breath or two. Again, we're sending the left hip back. Creating length from the left heel to hip, from the left hip to shoulder. Gently release your left hand down towards the floor. Take a big step back with your left foot to the back of your mat. We'll take our 10 pulses in our low lunge. So when you're ready, fingertips down, pulsing down for 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Straighten your right leg. Flex the foot. <laughs> Bend into the knee. Second and final round. Pulse down for ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Straighten the right leg. Perfect. Bend into your knee. Plant your hands down. Take a big step back into downward facing dog. Okay, hey, lift up your right foot, bring the index, sorry, place down the right foot, lift up your left foot, bring the big toe and second toe around your right heel and press down. If the heel melts to the floor, maybe you could flex the feet and try to lift the toes up. Wherever you are is perfect, take another inhale. And exhale, keep the weight sending down through that right heel, lift your left leg up to the sky, bend your knee, open your hip, take three big circles with your left knee. Keep your arms straight and strong, weight even through both hands. Inhale, bring your left knee forward, land the foot to the outside of your left hand at a 45 degree angle and lower down your right knee into our lizard lunge. 
Perfect. Send the hips forward and down. Lift the chest up. Lift your left arm up and all the way around. Flexing the right heel, guide the heel in and reach back towards the ankle. If you haven't got the hand on foot, just keep the hand reaching back. Pause for a moment. You can release or close down the eyes. If you want a bit more, flex the right foot and pull the heel away from you. Moving from lizard lunge into our half splits, release the hand from the foot, send your left hand forward, straighten your left leg, guide the left hip back, squeeze the inner thighs, bring your left palm to face the right and then scoop the pinky finger up. So we tune the entire lateral line here as you drop the left pinky side edge of the toes down towards the floor. And this is getting into TFL, IT band and all the way along the outer edge of our leg. Bend into the front knee, lizard lunge, reach your left hand up, back and over. Nice. Half splits, reach your palm forward and up. Drop the left toes. One more. Lift up, lean forward, draw the right heel in. And then straighten your left leg, reach your left hand forward, scoop the pinky finger up, drop the left pin pinky toe to the floor. Bend into your front knee, land your hands down under your shoulders, tuck the back toes, lift up the back knee and then drop onto the pinky set edge of your right foot, heel toe the left foot a third of the way down your mat, lift your left arm up and then lower the right hip down, reach your left arm back. Side cobra, lift up, reach your left arm overhead, Imagine you could touch the floor with your left fingertips, past the ear, and then lower it down. Okay, and again, lifting up, stretching over, and lowering down the skets into our obliques, and the rectus abdominis as well, which we of course work when we're running. Option here to straighten the left leg, and then bend back into it, lower the hips down. Perfect. Turn to face the back of your mat for Gomukhasana. So we're landing our left knee on top of the right and then bending our right heel and bringing it to the left hip. So both knees stacking left on top this time. Sitting up nice and tall if this is enough stay. If you need to take any adjustments with the left foot or with the hips on a block, then go for it. If you want a bit more, walk your hands forward. Pause for a breath or two here. Send energy down into your left hip. And then rise all the way up. Bring your left knee in towards your chest. Hold on to your foot or hold up to elbows behind your thigh and straighten into your left leg, just to your edge. It doesn't matter if it's still got a little bend in there. Lift the chest up, heart towards your toes. Breathe in. To go a bit further, draw the elbows forward. Lovely. Finding our twist, step your left foot over your right knee this time. Reach your left hand behind you, lift your right arm up to the sky, and then bring your right elbow over your left knee to twist. Look over your left shoulder. Inhale. And exhale. Unravel gently, bring your hands all the way around past your left leg, Look over your right shoulder, land your hands down, and take a big step back into downward facing dog. Send the weight down through your heels, lengthen your lower back. Perfect. Come up onto your tiptoes. You can either lower the butt down to the floor from here, just lower the knees, then the butt, or you can try hop up, cross the legs, swing through, and lower the butt down. Perfect. 
Extend your left leg out long. Flex the foot. Bring your right knee in. We're coming into half hero pose. The right knee is going to touch the, right, the left knee with the right ankle at the hip. So internal rotation, land the foot down. So just so you can see what that looks like, we're drawing the knee in, the top of the foot to the floor, and the heel just close towards your hip. If you arrive here and it's too much, grab onto a big cushion or a block, sit up onto that. And if it's still too much, you can bring the foot slightly further away from you. So sitting up nice and tall. This one gets into sartorius, which is our longest muscle in the body. We use it when we lift the knee and move forward in our run. So we're walking the hands forward. Again, finding your edge, just stretching all the way along from the elect crest with our sartorius to the knee. Try and soften across the face. I know a lot of these stretches can bring a lot of tension to the body and frustration, but I want you to try and just relax as much as you can. Gently walk your hands back up. We'll switch the sides over, so release your right leg out long, and then with your left leg, bend the knee, bring the heel towards your butt, and drop the knee in towards the left. Take any adaptions or variations. One side may be completely different from the other. And then walk your hands forward. Keep your heart reaching towards the toes with a nice long lower back and your left, or sorry, your right heel pressing forward. Again, find softness across the entire body. And crawl your way back up. Extend your right foot out long. Give your knees a little bop. And then land the soles of feet to the floor. Shimmy yourself to the center of your mat. Hold behind your thighs or reach your hands forward and then we'll lower all the way down onto our back. Okay, walk the feet in just so you can brush your fingertips to your ankles at a slight reach. And then push down into your palms. Push into your feet, tilt your tailbone and start to lift your hips up, stretching out across the front there. Breathe in. Breathing out. Gently lower your hips down onto the ground. Pick up your right foot, give it a flex, place it on top of your left knee, and then pull your left thigh towards you. Bring your fingertips around your left thigh and interlace them. Guide the left thigh in, the right knee away from you. Keep the lower back and shoulders as flat to the floor as you can. And again, relax across the face. Taking a breath or two here in our figure four. Stretching into our glutes. Lower down your left foot, switch it over, land your right foot, pick up the left, flex it, place it on top of the right, and pull the right thigh in. Interlace your fingers around the right thigh and guide the leg in while drawing your left knee away. Anchor your body down. Perfect, release your hands. Lower the right foot down. Release your left foot. Bring the feet wide like mat distance. Drop the knees into the middle. Bring your arms into a little cactus position up overhead and then window wipe your knees from side to side through our internal rotation. Nice. 
Just drop the knees over to the right. Pick up your right foot, place it on top of your left knee. Gaze towards the left. Take a breath or two gently. Release your right foot down, tap the knees in the middle, and then drop them over to the left. Pick up your left foot, place it on top of the right, and relax down. Just letting gravity do all of the work here in this one. Release your left foot. Bring the knees back to center, hug them in towards your chest and give yourself a little rock forward and back along the spine. Okay, you can come up to a cross leg seat when you're ready. Thank you all so much for joining me for this practice today. I hope you enjoyed, I hope your body is feeling stretched out and ready for a nice warm bubble bath. <laughs> if you have any questions at all, please drop it in the comments box below. If you enjoyed this class, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel as a really small act of kindness that helps me continue to share these classes for you for free on YouTube. Thank you again. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Namaste.